Question 206 of leak code, reverse linked list. So given the head of a singly linked list, reverse the list and return the reversed list. So we have one through to five and we need to reverse that list. So it's five through to one. So pretty straightforward question. So this is another good introductory question to linked lists. So let's define first what a linked list is. So a linked list is a linear data structure where there is a value and a next pointer or a next reference that points to the next value. So one points to two, two points to three. And the great thing about this is that it can be stored sequentially within space. So it improves on space complexity compared to a bog standard array data structure because an array is stored as a contiguous block in memory. It means that it's very fast for lookup, but in order to store it in space, it needs that contiguous block of space, whereas a linked list doesn't. Now, before answering this question, it's really good to be able to visualize what it's going to look like. So with this, we're going to have value is equal to one. We're going to have the next pointer and this pointer is going to be pointing to two. So it's going to be pointed to the value of two, which also has a next pointer. And this is going to be pointing to the value of three, which has a next pointer that is pointing to null. So with this linked list here, what do we know? We know for a fact that the head is set at one. We know that the next node is going to be two. And in order to solve this problem and reverse the linked list, we are going to have to create some kind of previous value. And previous value is going to be here. And this is going to be initially set to null because what we're going to do is make sure that this is the end of this new linked list we're creating. So we're reversing the list, but reversing it so that this is the end. So we need to reverse it. So this pointer right here needs to point to the previous node. So if we do that, we point it here, but then we've broken the linked list and we don't have a reference to the next value now or the next node. So before we point this to the previous node, we need to create a new reference. So we can say these quotations means reference. So we've created this reference here so that we can use it in the future to reverse this linked list. Now we can reverse that point. So this next pointer now points to previous. And now we need to update previous head and next. And in order to do that, previous moves to head, head moves to next, and then obviously next will go here. And we're able to move head to here because we created that reference node before. And then we can just repeat this process. So we need to create that reference node here. We need to change this pointer so it's pointing to the previous value. And then we need to update previous head and next. So previous moves along, head moves along, and next moves along. Previous head, next. And again, we were able to move head because of this reference node we created. Repeat the process, create a reference, change the pointer. So I have it pointing this way. Let's remove that pointer. And then let's update prev, head, and next. So prev moves here, head moves here, and then next is over here. And now head is out of bounds. So head is equal to null. So we can return prev. And this is the link that's reversed. So time complexity for this one is on because we're traversing this link this once. Space complexity is 01. Okay, so let's start this off by initializing prev to null. So we need to create that previous node. While head is available, we create that reference node that we can eventually set head to. That's going to be equal to head.next. Then we change the pointer of head. So head.next is now equal to prev. So we flip that pointer. Now we need to update prev, head, and the next node will eventually be updated in the next loop. So prev equals head, and head is equal to next node. So when head is equal to null, we're going to hop out of this while loop. And then as we showed in the solution, we need to return prev. And that will be the link that's reversed. Let's give this a run. Let's submit it. And there you have it. 